What's going on guys? Welcome back for more SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. In the last episode, we took care of the rest of uh what was it called again? Uh Rock Bottom, yes. Then we took care of the Mermelair and all of Sand Mountain. And we also did the Industrial Park. In this episode session, whatever, I don't know. Actually, this is all going to be one episode. I decided I don't want to do the Kelp Forest just now. So, right afterward, after doing the last session, I figured, you know what, let's make another session where I just complete all the optional stuff on the side before I head over to the Kelp Forest. Why not? So, first off, last episode, Mr. Krabs was saying how the Krusty Krab was in a state of shit because of all the robots. So, let's enter and take care of it. Are you ready, kids? Set. Go! Alright, make sure you kill that guy. Alright, there is a lot of shit you have to look out for in this room. But what I like to do is actually go like right around here. Launch up a mi missile. Ow. Forgot about that guy. Launch out a missile. And shoot that guy. Now run. Go. Keep going. And get in here. And hide behind these boxes. Now use these as cover as you take care of all the other robots. And that's pretty much it. It's not hard. In fact, it's actually very fun, because this gets to show off the cruise missile and its usefulness. God damn it. And we've got gotcha. you. No more robots now. Oh damn it, our missiles ran into each other. Boom! Gotcha. Ow. Hit me with it. Uh Alright. Now it's just a bunch of shit down here. Destroy all this. It doesn't really yield anything, but it's fun to destroy all Mr. Krabs' merchandise. I don't know why. I just like to. There's also a new robot down there, but we will get to him in a second. Alright, let's quickly just grab all these shiny objects and jump down and see him. There they are! These guys are really weird. They just point their laser beams at you, and then sometimes it hurts you. If it's yellow, that means it's going to hurt you, I think. So, don't let them cross the streams. It's, uh, interesting. But that's just basically how it works. Uh, this isn't gonna work. Jump up quickly before they screw you over. Now let's just launch missiles at them. Nah. -ha. Douche. And finally, the last one. Oop, he's being a douche. Alright, let's try rolling a bubble. That's not gonna work. Gotcha! Destroyed all the robots, now we can go return to Mr. Krabs for our reward. Awesome. But there's really no point to do that right now, because we got some stuff to destroy. For no real reason. Also, you can't go in the back rooms or anything like that, but you can just explore around Mr. Krabs' restaurant, fine-eating establishment. Destroy almost everything, like the pickle... The pickle, uh seats. Or these seats from the Pickle Factory? Alright. And that should be all of them. I don't really care. It doesn't yield anything, but it's just fun to do. They all respawn anyway. But now you get to go back outside, and Mr. Krabs is like, oh, thank you for saving me restaurant, but boy, here's a map. There you go. Told you. God, that sounds absolutely nothing like Mr. Krabs. But you know what? He's trying. I think. I don't really know. Maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. I don't really know. Well, I kind of want to aim for those things. Boom. God, I love the cruise missile. Alright, next. I probably should have done this before I went there, but I decided to do it second. Here's what we got to do. We got to press all these buttons. And the final button, boom. This actually activates that. And if you're wondering what that does, I think it should be pretty obvious what that does. It bounces, which enables you to get on top of the chum bucket and grab yourself a golden spatula. And I missed, whatever. I got it anyway. 
54 golden spatulas. I actually almost have enough for the graveyard. Which uh, is not a very fun level, but it's better than the kelp gardens. So I'm not going to delude myself knowing that I'd actually get enough to, you know, go there instead of the kelp gardens. I'm not going to delude. But, six pairs. I am one unbeatable sponge. Indeed you are. But now we have this nice seat. We got the underwear, and that's almost everything we have to do. If you look at Bikini Bottom, there's only one spatula left, and it's a hidden one. This one is probably one of the most obscure spatulas. But I do know how to get it. Because it was that obscure that I actually remembered how to get it. Now you may be saying, how do I enter the chum bucket? Well, look. Flash! Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the chum bucket. Yes, right yes, where you're standing. Right where you're standing. Plankton, owner of the chum bucket, <laughs> and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stomp on your children! And stomp on and your And stomp on your children's children! children. This has been a bikini bottom news flash! They serve food here, yes, uh. but they don't serve love. And look at all the customers, or what appears to be customers. Yeah, let's just bubble, uh, cruise them from a safe distance. Or miss entirely. That works too. And down the whole thing goes. But actually, what you're supposed to do is this. Who would have guessed, but well, you have to jump on this table, and if you look up, there's the shadow. If you look up, oh hey, there's what appears to be... I don't even know. Oh, tiki's. That's what they are. But also, there's a golden spatula right there. Well, how do we get to that? Jump up. And this is actually a wall jumping section. Little to you know, right? But 55 spatulas, that's pretty good, I'd have to say. Um, is there anything else I can get? So that's everything in Bikini Bottom. I do have enough, I think, for another golden spatula from Mr. Krabs. However, I want to save my money to make sure I can get to all the levels and all that stuff. So I'm just going to save on those shiny objects and hold on for a little bit on that. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to do. Um... Yeah. So I guess next episode, we're going to be starting the Kelp Gardens. Oh, God, help me. I really, really hate the kelp gardens. But, if it's any condolence, I am now officially done Bikini Bottom, Jellyfish Fields, and Sand Mountain. And, actually, you know what? I just thought of something. Here's another thing I could do. Let's go to downtown Bikini Bottom and do that bunging and uh, cruise bubble now. So, basically, I guess I'll just spend this episode doing everything I couldn't do before with the cruise bubble. This being one of the main things. In fact, the only things, in my opinion. I think. I don't remember. But whatever. So here's what you gotta do. Uh, is that the backside? That is the backside. But I think I can still hit it. Got it! That actually makes a platform go out and you can now grab that golden spatula. Pretty sexy. Alright. The cruise missile is slow, however, and won't do excellent in combat if you're just all by yourself. However, what I've noticed is the cruise bubble is absolutely exceptionary for cases like this where that asshole's launching missiles at you. Fuck you. God, that's such a useful use. And we're over here now. But with the cruise bubble hitting that switch, we can actually just wait. And if we wait... Where's the platform? I see. Uh, are you telling me I need Sandy now? Okay, uh, sure. That's not gonna work. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I think I need Sandy. Well, alright. Fine by me. <clears throat> Come on, Sandy, we got work to do. That SpongeBob had to help you with, apparently. Go! Do what you were born to do! 
And come on. God damn it. Can I not grab that? Or do I have to go at it from the other side? What the hell? What was that noise? That was weird. Come on, we can make this. Damn it. Yeah, there's no way we can make that. And again with the loud ta -da noise. <clears throat> All right, well then, let's just exit out the other side and take it from behind. Uh, poor choice of words there, but I uh, don't really care. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I don't know if that was how I was supposed to do it, but that was really delayed. But then, bang. But there you go. 56 golden spatulas. Now all that's left is to destroy all the tiki's and uh, find all the roadway sign or wheels. In fact, I think I'll probably go off screen and look for them all. I don't think it'll take too long to find them on my own. If it does, I could just look up a walkthrough on how to find them all. Get out of here. But right now, before I do that, let's just quickly switch up to SpongeBob and take care of all the. Oh wait a minute. There's still the S entrance. Shit, how do I get through that door? Um, I need Spongebob to ground pound a button, don't I? So, unless I just need to go from this side and wait? That wouldn't be too bad. Oh, wait, there it is. Oh, I just barely made it. Whew, close one. But now what? Uh, is that switch in there pressable by Sandy? Oh, wait, no, I have to use the cruise bubble, don't I? Damn it. Come on, let me get a better shot at it. This is gonna be kind of a tricky one, but I think we can pull it off. Damn it. Okay, there's no way you can pull off that hairpin of a turn. Uh, so we're gonna have to switch back to Sandy then, it appears. Did not know that. Did not know that. Guess I should have assumed that, but did not know that. Come on, Sandy, we got work to do. Why do I always say that? We got work to do. Whatever. Whip it. Whip it good. Okay, cool. So this switch is pressable by Sandy. That works out. Not sure what that really does, but okay. Yeah, so there were only three bungee jumps. All right, well, that's easy enough then. So as long as we have a full pair of underwear set, we can pretty much have SpongeBob handle it all. Hey, it's Bader. All right, SpongeBob, it's time to realize your destiny by destroying all the tiki's down on these bungee jumping areas. Let's go. Let's do the west one first. Why not? So, if you could not remember, the main goal is to destroy all the tiki's in this bungee jumping. Basically, you want to aim for those guys uh, that are holding the tiki's up, because then that just destroys the whole line. As they'll fall. But, from what I've seen, this is a little finicky, because the bungee jumping controls are a little weird. Also, the sneaky tiki's don't even bother, just destroy the things holding them. Only chance you got. Damn it, come on, aim correctly. Gotcha. West side, clear. Cool, it gets harder, don't worry, there's a bunch of exploding tiki's too. So if the west clear, the south isn't one, so there's east and north, let's go for the north. Checkpoint. By the way, checkpoint doesn't mean anything, because Tiki's always respawn. So if you die, uh, you basically have to redo it all over again. So try not to die. Ow. Like that. But with six pairs of underwear, it shouldn't be that hard, unless we do su something stupid like fall. Gotcha. Alright, is that everyone? That looks like it's everyone. 
All that leaves now is the east side. Not a hard spatula, but I like to wait until we get everything first before I attempt it. Not sure why. I probably should have done it sooner. I just did not know that there were only three bungee jumps, I guess. This one's an interesting one. Because there's like a circle straight way you can go about it. Yep. That does not make any sense. I'm like stuck. Uh, whoa. This is one hell of a glitch. Look at this. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is... I can't even dive anymore. Well, that's one hell of a glitch. I guess SpongeBob's pants tour. Alright, destroy all the tiki's, Ross. We got work to do. Stop saying that, goddammit. And that only destroyed one. Thank you. There we go. That's going to destroy two. Boom. Gotta love that miniature explosion. Oh yeah, the stone tiki's. You can't break those with your head. Uh, you're basically going to have to do a tricky shot and aim for the guy holding him. Which is easier said than done. Got him! And one more. Boom. Oh, there's still one more. God damn it. Gotcha! Mr. Krabs, we have completed your odd, odd, odd task, which is totally out of character. Here's the golden spot. Seriously, why does he want us to pull up Tiki's again? Should I go off screen and look for those wheels? Eh, I kind of don't feel like it. I'll look off screen if it becomes a problem where I need spatulas. But next time on SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, we're going to handle the kelp forest. See you guys for that next time. Bye. I'm going to miss downtown. Downtown was awesome. Oh well, see ya.